Hi guys, you are listening to Malik Shazaib and if you like my work, you can help me to continue teaching by sharing this video with your friends by clicking the like button and by leaving a comment. And now let's move to our topic. In this lecture, we're gonna learn total language tree. So a tree which is used to represent all the strings of a language is known as total language tree. You got it? Here, just for understanding, if we replace total with all, then its definition becomes a tree which is used to represent all the strings of a language is known as total language tree. You got it? Furthermore, total language tree also tells us the grammar is ambiguous or not. Secondly, the grammar is finite or infinite. Well, if you don't know what is the ambiguity in grammar, then you should watch the previous lecture, which I have made a lecture on ambiguity in grammar. Secondly, if the strings of the grammar are countable, the grammar is known as finite grammar. If the strings of the grammar are infinite or the strings are, in, are not countable, then the grammar is known as infinite grammar. Clear? Now let me help you in understanding the concept of total language tree with an example. Let's suppose we have a grammar with two production rules and we have to make its total language tree. The root of the total language tree is always S. It starts from this, this one and now we have to look at how many lines we have to draw for this S in the tree. And for that, you have to see how many possible values this S has. 1, 2, 3. It means that we have to make 3 lines. Here, as you can see that here, we have put the 3 lines. And just now what we have to do, we have to put the values. BB here, AX here, and BXX here. So you can see that here we have put the values and as you can see that here double B there is no production rule for here so it means this is our first rule okay and now in AX and BXX we can see that here there are more possible values for X how many values X has 1 and 2 what does it mean it means we have to make two lines for from here Finally, we have made two lines from this and now as you can see that here X Before X there is a so we have just write it here a and a here as well now How many possible values we have for X B a and X a so here we'll write the first value and here we'll write the second value of X Now you can see that here a X you can see that there is no value of a that's why we have wrote A as it is at both places and in place of X there were two possible values B A and A so in place of X firstly we put the first value B A and here we the second value of A is A so that's why we have put in place of A here A so as you can see that here there are no possible rules for A here and A B as well so it means this is our second string and this is our third string. You got it? Now here, you can see that B for B, there is no possible value. So it will come as it is. So uh, we know X and there are two X here. Now, but for one X, the number of possible values is two. And so we can see that here, there are two possible values for this X and also two possible values for two, this x. So how many uh, arrows, how many lines we have to draw? Four lines, two for this x and two for this x. So let's do it. So as you can see that here, we have put the four lines and you can see that here before x, b is here. So there is no possible value here. It means b is constant. So every string which we'll generate before x will when we'll put value b will come as it is. So that's why in the all four lines I have put b as it is. You can see that here. And now we will put the values for this x. Okay. 
and we'll keep the last x and b constant but we'll put the values for this one x so there are two possible values b a and a here i'll put the value b a and here i'll put the value a for this x okay so this x will come as it is now as you can see that here we have put the values for this x here once b a this value and second value was a so that's why in place of this x i have put a here now we'll fix this b and x constant and we'll put values for this x as we know we have two values for x b a and a so let's put the values for this x now as you can see that here we have fixed this x here con constant fix and we'll have put the values for this x last one so two values b a and a we have put here b a and in the second value we have put a so this has the tree uh, till now generated again there is capital letter in it we can and we can see that here for x we have two possible values so we can um, draw lines so how many lines we have to draw at this time two lines because th there is one x and for one x there are two possible values okay we have made two lines here for uh, this x and as you can see that here before x bba this is constant so in both lines this will come as it is so here we have put and here you can also see that here this is constant here so now what we have to do we have to put the values for x here is b a and a so just put b a here and the second value a here so after putting the values of x we have got these words like this similarly as you can see that here there is no capital letter in this string and uh, this as well so these are our uh, words this is fourth word and we have got our fifth word okay now as you can see that here there is one x at all these places and for one x there are two possible values so we have to make two lines at all these places clear secondly we are not going to write x but we we are going to write the remaining values here you can see that if we don't write x the remaining value will be ba so we'll write ba here we have write ba here similarly here you can see that if we don't write x here the remaining value will be b b a so we have write it b b a here as well b b a here as well and here if we don't write x the remaining value will be b a so at this arrow we have write b a and at this end of the line we have also written b a here as well clear and now we'll just put the values of x here there are two possible values b a and a here we'll put the first value here we will put the second value and here in place of x x was after the first b so here we'll put the first value of x here we'll put the second value of x similarly here and there so after putting the values of x here you can see that there are two values b a and a so i have put the first value b a here and a here b a a here b a and a here the picture looks like this and this is known as total language tree of this grammar you got it and as you can see that here it is representing all the strings of this grammar okay and uh, the question can be asked in a different way that uh, also the grammar a grammar is given and you have to ask also write the words that are generated by this grammar so you have to make the total language tree and then you have to uh, like uh, write the words that are generated by this grammar but there are some words which are repeating like this bbaa and you can see that here bbaa this is repeating so we have to remove it similarly there may be some other words you can see that here it is bb aba and bb aba so we have to remove this one as well and uh, you can see that here b a b a as well and bb b a b a here as well and uh, finally there is another string like b a a here and b a a here so we have removed the one so how many strings now we have left one two three 
four five six and seven so we have seven words in this language so just write it down as uh, the question has been asked so we have just written the words that were generated by this grammar here okay and uh, also you can see that the words of this grammar are seven one two three four five six and seven what does it mean it means this their language is finite language because its words are countable clear and that's it thank you very very much for watching this video goodbye allah hafiz take care